Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape. I'm working on Huntinality today, jumping in what I've heard is a great puzzle hunt. So let's start with the prologue. Enough was enough. Waluigi turned his head towards the couch. Wario. Is that a good Waluigi voice? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what a Wario voice sounds like. What'd you do that for, bro? That doesn't sound like Wario at all. <laughs> The latest Super Smash Bros. Challenger Pack! Waluigi folded his arms. I want to know if I made the cut, Aw, uh, Relax, bro. What are you getting so worked up about? Relax, Waluigi screamed at the top of his lungs. That's what you told me to do on the last Challenger Pack, and the one before that. Relax? No, Waluigi grabbed his trademark purple hat off the hat stand. It's time I took matters into my own hands. This shall be the dawn of a new era, my brother! He opened the door. His target, the world. Waluigi! I'm going to be creating a company that outmatches Nintendo in every way, Waluigi replied. Naturally, it'll be called Wintendon't. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump into Wagyu Steaks, or uh, Wagyu wa wa Steaks. I noticed they all start with Wa. <laughs> Waluigi once hosted a high-end, high-stakes puzzle hunt. Oh, really? Unfortunately, the Mushroom Kingdom is <laughs> vegetarian. <laughs> So he recruited writers from the kingdom next door that matched his loathsomeness. You're fighting this puzzle, and we can enter a move. Let's kick him. Puzzle Monster doesn't know how to react to that move. As the first of the new Puzzle Hunter class, you might need to learn some moves from the original six classes to face off against this puzzling enemy. Oh, wow. There's so much to this. <laughs> so, yeah, let's start with Seal Clubber here. The Seal Clubbers get their skills from the creatures around them. Yeah, so I think we need to identify what each of these pictures is. The clubs might be an index, perhaps? So, for example, this four, first one looks like an orc with an A. And then we have three clubs, so does that mean we take the third letter, which is C, perhaps? Puzzling old man got number two. Potter minus the P is otter. So let's take a look at that. This probably isn't an index because we have too many clubs to index into otter. And then, yeah, what's this? So, snow, ol, herder, minus sh, s, no, l, snow. Who is that? Shepherd. Minus the shush. Snow Leopard. Alright, so now's a good time for us to chat about aha moments. Does anybody have any awesome ideas? So Squishmallows United posted this link. This is from Kingdom of Loathing. The, the Kingdom of Loathing wiki. Okay. Okay, I see Audacity of the Otter. I see Wrath of the Wolverine. So, I'm guessing we're maybe indexing into these moves rather than uh, indexing into the animals. Ire of the Orca. Buoyancy of the Beluga. I like that one a lot. Let's try indexing into these skills. So we have Ire gives us an E. Rage is another E, so we have I. So Eye of the Mage seems to be our answer for this sub-puzzle. Let me see what happens if we try to use the Eye of the Mage move on the puzzle piece that we're fighting. You use your Eye of the Mage to envision your opponent in pain, dealing 9 damage. It's not a pretty picture, however, which does some Da of the Mage to you. Arg, eek, oof, ooh, ouch, ow. You lose 2 hit points. Alright, so let's jump into the next mini puzzle here. We did Seal Clubbers, now we're on Turtle Tamer. Okay, Turtle of Tamer is also from Kingdom of Loathing, so the whole puzzle is based on that. The Turtle Tamer's ultimate legendary epic special attacks don't always land, but knee time, they do, it'll be spelling trouble for their foes. Oh, the flavor text clues New York Times Spelling Bee, interesting. Oh, okay, I've seen I've seen this game before, so this is the New York Times Spelling Bee game. Are, are all of these crossword clues going to be something that we could spell this puzzle part one? Is, it, is this turtle? So that, that could be our seven letters right there. And uh, Joe Adult Man finds lemur for primate. Thank you, Joe Adult Man. The first thing that I had thought of was that this looks like a digital clock readout. I'm thinking each of these pictures relates to some attack or ultimate legendary epic attack from the Kingdom of Loathing game. I'm thinking those attacks are what go in these spaces around here. And that's what gives us the letters that go in the spelling bee grid. Then I think we were supposed to solve these clues. 
see which of these spaces is highlighted and read this, uh, read the corresponding spaces of this like the digital clock readout. Ultimate legendary epic weapon. Yeah, the turtle tamer has a legendary epic weapon and an ultimate, ultimate legendary epic weapon. Flail of the seven aspects. Um, people are saying each aspect has a name. The ancient flail consists of seven change, chains, each terminating in an iron statuette of a turtle. Each of these icons embodies one of the seven aspects of the tortoise. Okay, so yes, these are probably going to go around the grid. So like Valor definitely goes over here. And so Valor goes over there and that gives us the letter L. So where does, so wisdom is six. So wisdom goes here in the middle, but we know protection at least goes over here. So the weightlifting's got to be strength. I'm guessing we need to spell out these words in the seven segment display to get uh, letters of some kind. We have M, E, R is at the bottom and E. So that makes like this lowercase c here. Real. What does real give us? R, E, and L. So that's an L. And lastly, we have tamer. T, A, M, E, R. Okay, that's a D. Clue guard. You put up your clue guard against your opponent as it attacks, dealing nine damage. This clue is that you also need to take damage, apparently. Um, the Postomancer can't seem to find their vermicelli. If only we could remember their name. A uh, German luxury car says Mercedes, says, uh, says the rammer. And you also found this in the grid, yes. Uh, yeah, we have Fender Bender in the grid. Fender... Oh. Oh, I see Mercedes Benz. And then we have this I here instead of Ben. As well as here we have Fender and then the letter N where Ben should be. And then Der. I'm not sure why we have Ben in everything, but we have Ben in everything. London Landmark is Big Ben, says Light Scouters. I agree. Like a sponge could be absorbent, says Steven. I agree. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping we're reading these in grid order. So we have mind bending. Yes. You bend your opponent's mind, dealing two damage. You must have bent it too much as it springs back and hits you. The sorcerer needs to add some sauce to these tapas. Okay, good. They are tapas puzzles. I can do tapas. Maybe if you give them a hand, you can uncover the magic behind their sauces. Um, so we can start by putting these around the five. In a tapa puzzle, the numbers indicate how many of the squares around that number. The number indicates how many of those cells are shaded. What else do we have for Tapa? Um, the shaded sections all have to be connected together. And there. Do I want to keep the ones that are shaded, I wonder? Or the ones that are unshaded in this grid to the right? Cardinal Avriga are the shaded ones. But we also have Alfred of Ive. Oh, Alfredo 5. Let's solve the next puzzle in the meantime. Rose Br Brather Rose Brathering. Meanwhile, we have Cilantro 2. Is that yeah, Cilantro Seer is a level in the in the sorcerer class as well. This this one kind of comes together pretty quickly. We need dots here, 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 and here, and our last shaded cell is there. Red surstroming. Red surstroming. Looks a lot like red herring. Wait, that is that is a thing, right? Surstroming is another is a synonym for herring, I think. Red avriga. These are all red herrings. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> that's great. I like it a lot. I like that so much. Um, okay, so we just need. Parsley six. And so like Alfredo, the full class is Alfredo Archmage. Cilantro is Cilantro Seer. And Parsley is Parsley Enchanter. So I'm I'm gonna try indexing with the number. Men. Tarragon seven, the Tarragon class is this word. Thou Matt Turge. Mental. All right, so we're on the right track. Too bad Nick is not here, as we could hear him say, I could go for some herring. <laughs> so we have mental acumen. Oh, it doesn't know what mental acumen is. Okay, so it's not mental acumen. Oh, cumin. Cumin with an I. 
Yeah, it was mental acumen with an I, because it's a pun. <laughs> Um, if you're not familiar with drop quotes, basically the letters at the top are the letters that are going to fit one letter per space in each column, and words are going to read across the rows. So like this S obviously has to go here, because there's only one letter in that column. Uh, onion, says the rammer, yes, <laughs> makes sense. What other words do we have? This, I'm seeing people writing cocktail, that makes sense. This with a cocktail onion makes a Gibson. This seems to indicate dry vermouth so okay is does does disco bandit have something to do with ver vermouth okay okay so gibson's in the game you want calcutta emerald skip to next one and then maybe you'll figure it out okay rum this is probably rum put a something put a something of rum in sash something still bottle of Okay, so Hagabaka got bottle of. Put a bottle of rum in sash cross bine. Oh, is this Nash? Nash and Crosby's. Um, I thought that these were two ingredients here and you mix them and it equals Gibson. So I said olive and cocktail onion. Or you could do cocktail onion with a bottle of Kolkata Emerald. Is that how I'm meant to be reading this chart? And then you guys said they want it real. So I need, this is a parody of something in real life and I need to figure that out. The name of this booze is a play on the name Bombay Sapphire, a famous gin. Okay, cool. So this is the page for Nash Crosby's still. What was it? Bottle of rum. Yeah, it gives a bottle of Lieutenant Freeman. So let's see what this is a reference to. The item references both Captain Morgan's rum and actor Morgan Freeman. And now let's do the last drop quote. Looks like we have bottle again here. Premium bottle of booze in a tequila sunset is probably this bottle of George Sinsonte. This item refers to the tequila brand Jose Cuervo. Looks good to me. So now we just got to collect all of our numbered spaces. It looks like we go from 1 up to 14. Got S, E, R, and E. Searching stare. You unnerve your opponent with a searching stare, dealing 14 damage. All right, we have one mini puzzle left. The accordion thieves feel a bit bad and decide to give 20% of their sales back to their owners. Bat excrement is guano, isn't it? Bat guano is an item it looks like. Oh, table of accordions. So Light Scouters found a different link for a table of accordions. Let's take a look at this. Do we have guano here? There's Guancertina. You're right, Hagabanka. Yes, the non manual muse is Auto Calio. Selling price is 40 meat. Um, so, do I need 20% of 40, which is 8? And maybe I'm, maybe I'm indexing and taking the 8th letter. Um, it says who they are stolen from on the table of accordions. Oh, does it? Does that mean that's what I'm indexing into? Cajun accordion came from lively Cajun accordionist. Uh, oh, so the, the Guancertina is something that was dropped into Bakwano. So that one is probably correct. Thank you for finding that puzzling old man. Um, Hagamaka says strongly dislike conflict up here is peace accordion. I mean, we might be able to just extract the answer at this point. It's, it's pun reliable smash or pun reliable mash. That's probably what we're doing. There it is, pun reliable mash. And now we just have this. Index the move, says Puzzling Old Man. Yeah, uh, we're indexing something. I'm gonna try it with both sets of our numbers. So we have an M, D. That looks a lot like medium if I moved the E. So what if I do these ones? We have Y. That doesn't look as much like something. It's very close to medium, but I don't know why it would be out of order unless, oh wait, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this, th these Uggs give us the order. I'm gonna put these in order based on the, how many sounds we make. And we see that both our indexes spell something now, medium rarity. Paste, submit, solved. I didn't start a timer, but I see we're three hours into the stream. So it took us three hours to solve that one puzzle. We solved the Wagyu Steaks puzzle, or Wag, Wagyu. <laughs> That's it for today, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out. Um, if anybody from Huntinality or from Cardinality is watching so far, I've only done one puzzle, but great hunt. That was a great puzzle. I really like the bunch of mini puzzles that come together solves. They're, they're always 
a great time, even though they take forever to get through. Until next time, everybody, thank you all so much for coming out. Have a great day, and as always, happy escaping. Happy escaping.